Hey everyone, welcome to another video by RC Limits. This is Ben from RC Limits, and this in this video, you will be sh I will be showing you a vid um, a modification that I am doing to my tracks and slash, as, as well as a quick update on what's happening with the slash. So, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to install be installing some dirt flaps along in here. So. Um, I guess I'll go over what you're going to need. So, um, the first thing you're going to need is the flaps. What I am using is, I am using a piece of, this is actually a separator out of a, um, uh, like a divider case. So I'll show you what I'm taking it from. I'm taking it from something like this. That's all you're gonna need. You're, you're gonna need five of those. This is if, if you're doing it specifically for this track slash model, you're gonna need five of them. So that's the first thing you're gonna need. Uh, second thing you're gonna need is a drill, as long as well as a drill bit that's gonna meet, be drilling a hole in your chassis. I've already gone ahead and drilled four holes in each. Uh, I'm gonna actually place mine here, here, here and here yeah. so there and then also the nice thing about this is that this fits nice and snug in here so you don't have to even worry about having to drill that in because it fits nice and snug in there and it's not going to fall out if you're going to go over a bump so what else you're going to need is you're going to need four screws four nuts um, you're going to need a screwdriver or an allen key wrench depending on what type of screws you're using and you're going to need a, um, a pair of pliers to um, hold the uh, nut if, or you could also use a small wrench depending on the size of the nut that you're going to be using. So um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go ahead and drill the holes in here. I've already done that. So the next thing you're going to need to do is you need to take your divider pieces and you're going to line them up where you're going to put them. So this one's going to go, and actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this one off a little bit because it um, is a little bit too long. As you can see, it kind of yet to bend, you have to bend it. So I'm going to trim that off a little bit um, just with a pair of scissors actually. So let's do this right now. Okay. That'll fit nice and snug right there. And then I'm going to put a second one right here, like, like so. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. Yeah, you might want to remove your servo just for the ease of doing it. But I'm just not going to do that just because I don't really feel like I don't have time for it right now. So uh, you also need to make sure you line up the holes, right, with these on here and the holes you're gonna drill on here. I haven't put holes on here yet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay so I got the holes in the, each one of the dividers and now I'm gonna install them one at a time. Okay so here we go. I'm gonna start just by uh, screwing the screw right through the hole on the chassis just so I get a, uh, I can just line the um, just so I can line the uh, piece of plastic up with it. Okay, so that's all the way through. Now I'm going to take the plastic and I'm going to screw it through there as well. Okay, so the first one is pretty much done. Just going to get that right on there. And now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take the pliers, and I'm going to take the nut, and I'm just going to um, so like that, and I'm going to just put it right on the screw, and I'm just going to screw it in again. 
Okay, there we go. So there's the first one on there. And now I'm just going to install the rest. Okay, so I got all the mud flaps up and uh, they're pretty sturdy. So, um, make sure you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. So I've just got the bolts on each side and the screw on the other side. Took some fiddling to get it lined up with the hole on the piece of plastic on the chassis. But, um, I figured it out pretty quickly and I was able to just re drill a couple and I was pretty good and I was good to go. So that's how you, um, make the easiest and cheapest by far, or definitely the cheapest by far, mud flaps for your slash. And, um, also, the body will still fit on it with no problem at all. So, no problem with the body going on and everything, so, yeah. Okay, so I'll have a lipo on it hopefully soon. Um, the hobby store is just taking a while to follow through with that, so, um, I should have that in the next week, I hope. Um, I'm getting a 3S lipo, um, so I think it'll be pretty fast. I'm really looking forward to it. I got the Sidewinder ESC and a brushless motor. So I'm looking forward to um, getting the lipo for it and racing it. Um, I'm considering racing it this year. Um, the membership at my local track costs uh, I think $80 for a whole year. But that includes you can race at the track anytime and you get the racing is all free once you have the membership. So I might do that, or I might just pay like 10 bucks and go for the day and see what it's like first, so, I don't know, we'll see. So, um, yeah, that's the Slash and LiPo soon. Um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know, I'd be happy to make a video. Yep, yeah, so, thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, and please subscribe. Thanks, guys.